Okay, hi everybody. At a request of Gastric Rose, I've decided to tell you a little bit about my ground turkey chili. So I'm going to show you how I make my low-fat ground turkey chili. So first of all, here are the ingredients. I hope this doesn't get too shaky. This is a 20-ounce package of ground turkey. I get the extra lean ground breast of turkey. You can do the 93%, but it won't be as low in fat. To that, we have two cans of diced tomatoes. You can choose any kind you want. These are just what I happen to have in my cabinet. So this one is the mild green chili, and this one is roasted garlic. But you can put whatever you want. Um, then I have a can of beans. These are cannellini beans. You can use kidney beans, red kidney beans, pinto beans, whatever you want. So these are white ones. Um, and then this is a can of roasted fire roasted diced green chilies. Now, we like our stuff hot, so that's why there's those. You can skip those since there is green chilies in the tomatoes. Now, all of those are just, the cans are just opened. The difference is the cannellini beans, I did rinse and uh, drain and rinse them. We also have a little bit of olive oil in a sprayer. For seasonings, I have ground cumin. Um, chili powder, which happens to be in my little Tupperware container, but it's just plain chili powder. This is um, Tony Shashery's Creole seasoning. I'm, I lived in Louisiana for 12 years, so I really got hooked on this stuff. If you don't have this, you can just use salt and pepper. So basically I have that and Italian seasoning. And the, and the amounts on this can vary for what you, what you like for taste. I put at least um, a teaspoon to a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I put the equivalent of a teaspoon of... Tony Shashri, so I'd say a half each of salt and pepper. I put two teaspoons of chili powder and one of cumin. Okay? And that's all the ingredients. So now I will show you how I put this all together. First thing we're going to do is put the turkey in the pan. You don't have to do anything different with it. You just put it in the pan. You do want to take paper off. And I put it on medium high to um, medium to medium high. You then break it up a little bit and get it started. Oh, I forgot to stuff. I usually spray the pan with the olive oil. So you might want to do that or use pan spray if you don't use olive oil, but I just don't like the artificial spray. This is just oil, but the sprayer makes it like a uh, hand spray, which I think is kind of cool. Um, so as you see, that's not even a quarter of a teaspoon of oil. You see how it looks? It looks really cool. It just looks like a hand spray. So you start that, breaking it up. Now I find that if you don't season the meat before it cooks, you end up with meat that is um, kind of bland. So what I do is after I break it all up, I, before it really starts cooking, I get my seasonings. So here is my basically salt and pepper. My chili powder. As I said, we like a lot of chili powder in my family, so there's a lot there. And the cumin. And the Italian seasoning. I will probably sneeze in a minute because all this seasoning usually makes me sneeze. It looks like a lot, but it really will um, cook into the meat and the chili and, and it, won't taste, um, it won't taste too strong. So you can hear it starting to cook. I basically cook this until it's pretty well cooked. Um, this doesn't brown much because it's the lean um, ground turkey, so it doesn't brown very much. Um, but you get it until it's pretty much as it would be if it was ground meat browned. Um, and then all I do is add those four cans of ingredients and cover the pot and let it cook. So what I'll do is pause the tape now. And once I'm ready to put those other ingredients in, I will show you again. Okay, we'll be back.
Okay, now you can see it's all round. As brown as it's going to get with me this seasoning. One key ingredient I forgot to mention is chopped peppers and onions. And I kind of cheat. These are pre-made frozen chopped peppers and onions. And it makes it easier on me. So I would say put about a cup or so of chopped peppers and onions. If you're better than me and you chop them all yourself, then you probably do a large onion and probably a large bit of pepper. So I'm just going to put... I'm going to eyeball it because we make a lot of vegetables in ours. So there's my chopped peppers and onions. I put them in right after the, um, right after the meat browns. You could probably chop these up smaller, but we eat them. We don't care. So there it is. It's a very colorful dish, as you can see. And you saute those just a little bit. This is all going to cook for a little bit, so you really don't have to have this all cooked now. All right. Now we're going to dump in... Our tomatoes. You just dump them right in. Those are petite dice that are tiny. These are some more diced tomatoes, beans, and some extra beans go at the bottom. dropping things in. Mix this all up. And as you can see, it's really thick. If you like your chili thinner, this will add a little moisture as the peppers and onions cook down. But if you like your chili a little thinner than this, then what you're going to want to do is add some tomato sauce or something like that. So you stir it all up. And you can see how that looks. I put the cover on it, and you simmer it for, I usually let it simmer for about an hour, hour and a half. Okay, I will come back and show you the finished product and give you the nutritionals. Okay, and here is our finished product. It makes eight cups. These containers are about a cup and a third, so they're a little, little bigger, but um, eight cup, eight one cup servings. And as you can see, there's all kinds of good stuff in there. If you want to make it, as I said, if you want to make it a little thinner, you can add some tomato sauce or something like that, or even just add water while you're cooking it. And the nutritional information for a one cup serving, 109 calories, one gram of fat, it's great low fat. It does have a little sodium, 382 grams of sodium, uh, 12 carbs, three grams of fiber, 3.5 grams of sugar, and 15 grams of protein. So it's an excellent high-protein meal. I tend to freeze these in these containers and then bring them to work for my lunch. So I hope you enjoy this, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.